Hey love bugs, it's Rob coming back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you have not already, please like and subscribe. You can hit that notification bell down there so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get to know you, and I love to get the positive feedback. And if you feel like you enjoy what you heard, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, like it, even share. It'll greatly be appreciated. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. It's greatly appreciated. And for my returning subs, what's up, fam? Much love to you. Thank you so much for coming out your way just to stop by the channel and see one of my videos today thank you so much it is well well appreciated namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are yet to come for you too and thank you so much for stopping by the channel today and just being a part of my beautiful family and today i'm listening to this oh i love this music because i've been meditating to it for a few minutes um, it's called Remove Negative Energy from Your Mind, Body, and Soul. Boost Positive Energy Meditation Meditation Music. I will post that link in the description box below if you love to meditate. I always, if this is your first time coming to my videos, I always try to make sure, like, I have, um, meditation music in the background. So, um, hopefully I sound talking loud today, so if it feels like I'm yelling, I'm sorry. But I noticed some people, you know, will watch my videos and they say because the music is probably clashing, um, that there are certain things that they won't hear me say. So if I'm yelling a little bit, just turn the volume down a little bit because I, I try not to have the music too loud. But for some reason, every time I've been making videos since day one, if you have not noticed, you'll hear like a growl or something like moaning in the background and I don't know what that is and I'm like I'm in a house by myself but yet you can hear something always moaning so that's why I always put music in the background because it sounds so creepy to me even though when I put music on if you listen closely you can probably hear it so I don't know what it is one of my friends had told me I was releasing demons every time <laughs> and she's like you're probably releasing something like releasing negative energy or whatever that's around you so you'll hear that stuff picking up on your your computer that you wouldn't be able to hear from the neck, you know, the, not the naked ear, but the, you know, the regular ear. So, um, you know, not to get off the subject, but yeah, that's why I usually play. That's the reason why I play music. And plus, it's just like when I feel like if you're saying something positive, I want all my viewers to feel positive when they're taking in whatever I'm. You know, pushing out at that time. I want you to be able, your mind feels welcome to whatever I'm saying. You know, your body feels relaxed and cleansed, like, you know, you're just purged out whatever negative energy you had at that time. So, you know, I, I want you to be able to, you know, feel like you've really got something out of the video in mind, body, and spirit. You know, I want you to be able to feel comfortable on everything. So that's the main reason why, you know, I, I play meditation music in the background. Plus, you know, a lot of people probably just don't know certain, you know, meditations. Like, what should I, you know, what should I, you know, go through or meditate to certain things? So it's just like, if I'm feeling some type of way or I might be feeling somebody need to hear this certain uh, meditation, I'll go ahead and put it on. The spirit guys tell me to go pick this one. I'll pick that one. So, but yeah, the Twin Flame... My video today is about Twin Flame 101, Challenge Your Fear. Challenge Your Fear. There are so many times, I mean, just like I told you a couple of days ago in my videos, I was getting to a point where I was really letting my fear consume me at one time. I was really letting my fear consume me. And it was just like my fear of not knowing how things were going to turn out and what my future holds or you know am I gonna be able to live up to whatever is going on or whatever so it would be all these fears going on in my head and I can't you know and I just had to keep telling myself you know what you don't know what's going on you know in the future you don't know what's going to go on next week you have to just prepare yourself for today you know with half lesson you know don't won't make it you know 
to next week. So we have to just prepare ourselves for the now. Prepare, prepare ourselves for the day. So, you know, we'll look fear in his face. You know, fear is fear, nothing but fear itself. You know, it's fear. We worry about how people perceive us. We worry about what people think of us. We don't worry about what people say about us. Wonder if people like us. So it's just like, I'm at that point. It's like, you know, I'm a welcoming person, but it's not my job to make sure you like me. Because a lot of people, just everybody wants to be like, I, yeah, I want to be like, but it's just everybody's not going to like you. And it's just being who we are. Sometimes our... The way we go about things can kind of clash with people. Some people will think that way we're doing things is annoying. But it's just like I'm at that point where I cannot sit up here and let my fear hold me back. Because that's what it is. It's, it's, it's just like you can sit up here and be like this person, this person, this person. But you can't allow those things to get to you if it doesn't affect you in any kind of way. You know, so that's why it's just like... You know, I got to that point where, you know, I pushed out so much positivity because I think you get positive stuff back. But there was things that I was still doing that was in a negative aspect. So I couldn't expect those positive things to come in. But I know once I release all these negative things, like negative thoughts, you know, any kind of addictions I have, and it doesn't have to be drugs, it can be your negative way of thinking, your negative way of reacting to things, you know, your negative thoughts, you know, it's just the way, if you're going about things and not actually putting your full effort into it, it's not going to work. So, you know, you can't fear the things that are unknown. You can't fear the darkness because you don't know what's in it. You can't, you know, fear what's, you know, fear what's going on next week because next week hasn't got here yet. And, that, you know, we will do that in a heartbeat, especially if you know something's coming up, a special date's coming up. We will start freaking out at times. And it's just like, you know, it. if you keep dwelling on it like that, and I have to keep telling myself that and telling myself that I'm human too. I'll be suspect of that real quick. I'll tell y'all, you know, don't worry about this. But when, you know, and it's easy for you. It's like, yeah, it's easy for you to say that because you're not the person who's going through it. You're right. You are absolutely right. <laughs> I can sit up here and tell you all day, do not worry about it. But you're the one who has to deal with it. With it. Not me. You're the one who has to deal with that. But you have to, you know, it's just like when I know I feel myself getting into a negative space. I always try to make sure I keep myself busy. If it's not, you know, writing for my book or in my book or whatever, you know, doing something on Facebook that, you know, uh, sending out an article on my special fan page or, you know, putting something on my page that's positive because you never know. Somebody might need to hear that today. So it's just like I can't sit up here and fear what's the worst that's going to happen. And we always think that, you know, and there's sometimes we really don't want to think like that. But in the back of our mind, sometimes in our subconscious or psyche or whatever you want to call it, we'll have that negative thought. But then we have to read, we have to psych ourselves out and be able to flip that and just think about, you know what, what's the best that can actually happen? This, 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 and this, and this. So we can't sit up here and dwell off of what the worst can, can happen unless you're really ready to conjure that mess up for yourself. And it just seems like when it comes to positive things, I used to laugh at myself and get mad at the same time. And it's just like, it's amazing how you can hope for so many positive things to happen. And it's still slow on getting there. But when it's something negative, that mess will come in full force like it ain't funny. I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> are you really serious? Now, when I wished on the positive thing, for that to happen so bad at that time, it didn't happen. But if I wished on that negative thing so bad, that would happen. But it was just like, because I focus, focus so much on that negative, that's where all that energy went to. So I had to, you know, process that. You know, I had to look at it at a, at a higher angle to look at it and just like look at it for what it truly is. You can't blame nobody else. It's your way of thinking. It's the way you react to things, the way that if something happens, how the after effect comes out. That's the true test right there. That is the true test. And your temptations. So don't allow your fears to consume you. Challenge it. Look it in his face and say, oh, I'm not taking it. I'm done. 
never no more. And you will be okay. Do not let fear consume you. So I hope you were able to resonate with this video and I hope you enjoyed what you heard. I hope everybody has a blessed weekend. I know it's the weekend and I'm so happy because it's been a long crazy week. If I've not got a hold of your channel yet, please forgive me. Um, I will be going through channels through, throughout the week, um, throughout the weekend. That's why I'm just going ahead and make like about four or five videos and have them uploaded. Might put out two for tomorrow and the next couple of days, just one of each. But um, I said I'm going to go ahead and do that so I can go ahead and get uh, more, on, more of the people that subscribe to me that have their own channel to go ahead and stop by there and show them the love and support. So I hope everybody's responsible in what they do. Please enjoy your weekend. Stay blessed. I will keep you in my prayers and I hope you definitely do the same for me. And I will see you on my next video. Uh, send out as much love, light, and positivity as you possibly can. If you see somebody with low frequency, try to help them raise it to the roof. <laughs> and I will talk to you later. <laughs> Peace and be wild. Like and subscribe. Hit me, you know, hit me back. You can give me a thumbs up. You can share. It'll be great. Appreciate it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> love you.